Welcome. We're so excited to have you guys with us. Um, I always love when our friends ADP come on Appy Hour. Um, they're just such a great partner for my firm um, and actually both of my firms. So it's always, I always feel like we're having, and I, I, mean, I feel like this with all, with, with, you know, all of our guests, but I feel, especially with ADP, I feel like we're having friends to the table. So it's really great to see you guys here um, today. So thank you because they're kicking butt thank you. whenever Happy it comes. Here. Absolutely. Y'all are, y'all are doing everything right. Whenever it comes to relations and connecting with accountants and, and collaborating and growing together. Absolutely. So I go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, Liz, and we're going to go ahead and kick this off. So, uh, very excited. Um, so today we're going to be talking about retirement planning and benefits. Um, my name is Heather Satterley. In case you don't know me, I think I know most of you. Um, but I have two businesses. I have two firms. I have one, uh, Satterley Training Consulting, which where I help accounting professionals, uh, accounting firms, and their clients to implement accounting technology, usually around QuickBooks uh, Online. Um, uh, but certainly with other applications as well. And then I also have an accounting and tax firm uh, where I help small businesses with their, uh, with their accounting needs. So bookkeeping, tax, other accounting-ish services that uh, we typically do in our, uh, in our accounting lives, right, Liz? Yes, our accounting lives. Uh, and, you know, I think that's exactly what today's topic is, is that, as you said, and other duties, well, that's kind of sometimes what we fall into is IT, HR, retirement plans, benefits, oh, and then also that accounting and bookkeeping thing. So <laughs> sometimes because we are in that position of having that relationship with our clients that we know so much about them, they come to us for asking us questions. So. Um, yeah, that's what today is all about. And inside of my firm, so I'm Liz Scott, and uh, we offer services to small businesses using QuickBooks. And that is all of the community that we serve is businesses using QuickBooks. And we have found that that is just a perfect place for us to find plenty of work, wouldn't you say, Heather? Absolutely. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. So we both have a love of apps and want to share that with our peers. We definitely do for sure. All right. I'd also like to uh, introduce our friends at ADP. We have with us today, we have uh, Aaron Booth, who's a uh, VP and leader of accounting professionals for Group Health. Aaron, welcome. Um, excited to have you with us today. Um, and you're going to be talking about uh, insurance and other health insurance and other insurance benefits and offerings that uh, accounting professionals can partner with ADP um, and their clients, right? Absolutely. Yeah, looking forward to it. Um, as you mentioned, your job is so much more than accounting. We found that our job is so much more than payroll now. So um, looking forward to, to talking about the solutions we provide there. Fantastic. And then uh, I'd also like to introduce Amber Harms, who is the VP of Channels um, with Retirement Services. So she's going to be helping us to understand the differences between the different types of retirement products that are available to our clients and also kind of give us a little insight into the timing. So as we're doing our year-end planning and we're thinking about how we can help our clients to set money aside for the long-term, their long-term future, um, but also to kind of reduce their tax life Liability, she's going to help us to kind of understand the differences between the different types of plans um, and how ADP can partner with us in that space as well. Thank you, Heather. Yes, very excited to be here. It is a unique year. It is a unique time of year. And so we're really excited to get to spend some time with you all today and hopefully uh, add some value to um, the craziness that we're all living in right now. Well, thank you so much. It is. It seems to everything. It seems to just be all this stuff happening, like all the time. Like we had, I was, I was telling Liz, I sent her a text yesterday on Sunday. I'm in Rhode Island. We had an earthquake. 
Like we had an earthquake, which is crazy. We don't get earthquakes. They actually said that earthquakes here are kind of common, but we don't get them very often. And it was a, it was a doozy. So it definitely surprised us. So anyway, so we're excited to, uh, to spend the day together. And it's always so much fun to, you know, get, get together with our friends and our partners face to face during these Zoom calls. We also have some really exciting news to share. I am so excited about this. Congratulations to Liz, who was named today the 2020 Top Educator, Trainer, Writer, Pro Advisor by Insightful Accountant. This is such a gigantic, um, you know, honor, Liz, right? So out of over 200,000 pro advisors, um, they've chosen you as the top educator trainer. And there's absolutely no question as to why <laughs> they chose you. So well deserved. Well, thank you. It's a little surreal. And, you know, the only thing that I would share with my peers is this. And Heather, you know this. I have gotten scolded for years for not entering into recognition awards because it was like, oh, it's not me. That's not for me. That's not for me. So this is the first year that I put my hat in and, oh, my gosh, look what just happened. So I'm a little over the top. I will be drinking and having a good time with our celebration <laughs> toast. I feel like this is a celebratory moment. And I just encourage everybody who's here, you know, we're a peer community and who knows? So put your hat in, name into that hat and go for it. So excited. You don't know unless you try. Oh, absolutely. I had no doubt. I'm so happy for you. And, uh, and I was so excited because Last year when I won, Liz was able to tell me and she was so excited because she was the one that got to tell me before, you know, um, before it was announced. And so this morning, you know, I texted her and then I called her and I got on the phone with her. I'm like, congratulations, Liz. And she's like, what? <laughs> so I got to tell Liz this year. <laughs> it wasn't yep. planned, but it ended up being that way. So that was exciting. It was, it was. Last year we were at Scaling New Heights, which is going on right now. So hi to all of our Scaling New Heights friends. And so the night before, there's somebody who has to go around and, and gather all those 10 people up to let them know, hey, be sure to be in attendance at that uh, award ceremony. And so I was able to say, hey, you need to be dressed in there. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of a nice flip this year. Right now. Well, thank alive. you for calling me to let me know, Heather. You're welcome. <laughs> Welcome. So that's really exciting. So, uh, so today's going to be lots of reasons to celebrate today. So huge thank you to our champagne sponsor for 2020, uh, Right Networks. Uh, they're the leading cloud hosting provider for accounting professionals and great partners um, to both Liz and I and to all of our accounting friends. Um, so thank you. And a huge thank you to ADP for uh, sponsoring this episode. We really appreciate it. Uh, Liz and I's mission is to bring uh, you know, accounting technology and quality solutions to our accounting professional friends. And um, you guys do that over and over again. We love it. So thank you so much for, uh, for joining us today. So our agenda is we're going to focus on year end. So we're in November. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I think everybody's kind of going, Thank goodness it's November. We get a right. new fresh start in 2021. Um, so we need to be thinking about our year-end activities and getting, you know, every all of our our, you know, all of our clients in order, getting ourselves prepared. So when January rolls around, we're not, you know, going crazy more than we normally do. So this episode is dedicated to, you know, our ultimate guide to year-end planning. And then we're gonna go through and we're gonna learn about um, benefits benefits that we can uh, we can offer to our clients through ADP. And then we're going to talk about the coolest thing we did this month, which is super exciting. And then we'll do a preview of our next episode. So let's get started, Liz, with our ultimate guide to year end planning. And um, we wanted to start with, you know, how can we make the most of year end, right? So I always look at year end as an opportunity, right? Um, tax season's over kind of, <laughs> now we have PPP season, PPP or forgiveness season, but kind of over. And so now is the time for all of us to be looking back at how we did this year, right? Mm -hmm. um, where we need to make some changes, how we interacted with our clients, who we're actually serving, 
what services we're offering and what's new out there in the world. And, you know, typically in the fall, it's a big conference season for us because accounting professionals are looking for ways to improve their own practice and to make their services and their relationships with their customers better. So some of the things that you can do um, at year end, and I know you, Liz, and you and I do this every year, Mm -hmm. is review your client list and fees. So go through your client list your entire client list, even clients that maybe aren't active right now, you want to be looking at and look at what you're charging them. That's so hard too. And, you know, I mean, I take that back to, I feel like we as a whole, as a community, we undervalue ourselves, which I had to, whenever it came to pricing, the thing I had to do was I know that there was, you know, years and years of this talk about value pricing, fixed fee, And so I really had to go through there and say, I got to take the me out of it. And I got to just think about the services that I'm offering. And so don't put value on myself. I'm not, I'm not pricing myself. (laughs) I'm pricing the services that they're asking for. And so whenever you do that and you think about, there's only honestly so much of you to give out, then you need to then start evaluating if you can only take so many clients and you're trying to make this amount of money. Well, then that's kind of a way that we can back into a number. So I would say that, you know, for me, I don't know about you, Heather, but November, December is usually kind of a quieter month. Now this Mm -hmm. PPP um, forgiveness has kind of changed that a bit, but it usually is an evaluation. It's an introspective time to be able to focus on what it is that you're doing right or wrong? No, absolutely. And I think, you know, sitting down and looking at your clients, um, we get so busy that we don't do it. We just, you know, we're, uh, as accounting professionals, we're always looking out for our clients, right? And a lot of times we're, you know, doing things that aren't part of the engagement, especially this year, especially Mm -hmm. this year with COVID and all of the things that 2020 has thrown at us um, as far as regulations, um, you know, helping our clients stay afloat. There's a lot of services that we've been providing that are outside of the scope of our normal engagements. Well, now is the time to look at that again and really look at your relationships. How have they grown? How are you offering additional value to your clients? And look at the services. Maybe there's things that you weren't doing with your clients pre pre COVID, right? That all of a sudden now you're doing now, what you can do is you can start to, you know what, that is a viable service that I can be charging for and be marketing to, you know, to, uh, to your market. So definitely a great time to be doing that. Um, And let me, let me throw out a question to you, Heather. Of course. So do you think, I mean, we're almost wrapping up 2020. Do you think 2021 will have less work in it? No. Are you be doing for your clients? I agree. I think that <laughs> no. I think that 2021, I think we're going to need to do a little bit more for our clients in that year as well. So yeah. I would go into the planning as if to say, you know, if you know you have clients that are hurting, okay, fine, maybe you can give them a break. But what I have done for those, because I have some of those that are actually hurting right now, I have said, okay, instead of reducing services and suddenly discounting myself, what I have told them is, okay, we're going to go on a three month or a six month adjustment. But every single invoice that goes out to them tells them here's the normal price. And then remember, we're doing an adjustment. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So that way they know that we're doing them a favor. We're in their corner. Yep. The other thing that I would have you say is as you're going through your client list and you want to involve your team in this next one, right? You definitely want to involve your team. If it's just you, then it's just you. But if you have people that are working with you, you want to look at what client needs aren't being met, right? So a big one is human resources, Uh right? I can't tell you how many clients that I work with that just cobble it together, right? They don't have an employee, they don't have an employee handbook in place. Um, They don't know what their policies are for things like paid time off, right? Because they just never sat down and talked, you know, thought about it. So where are there these options? Maybe they don't have a retirement plan, or they haven't thought about offering benefits to their, to their employees. And these are things that their needs aren't being met. And a lot of us think, well, I can't help my client with that, because I'm not you know, I don't know about in all the different insurance um, offerings. I don't know about all the different retirement plans. Maybe you're not a CPA and, you know, you just don't know and you, you're not really sure that you can help. Well, the good news is, is you can find partners, you know, that 
do know about all of this stuff that you can create a relationship with and create referrals or even white label services through your firm to your clients. And you actually don't have to be the expert. You find a partner that that becomes an extension of your team that now your firm's offering all of these great you know, services and products to your clients, but you're not actually doing the work. You're just partnering with, you know, with someone to, to bring that, give that to them. And an example of that is we'll see with the retirement benefits and the insurance with ADP, we can offer that through our firms as well. So finding the partners is really important because, you know, and I think Lee, you and Liz, you and I have talked about this before that, you know, you almost never want to say to a client, oh, I can't help you with that. Right. You want to be able to say, let me see what I can find out for you, right? And that's usually what I do is I may be like, I'm, I'm not the one to provide you that service, but I can certainly, cert- or maybe I can find somebody to help you with that, right? Okay, so, so my favorite thing to say is whenever somebody gives me something that could be a negative, and, and I, I got this from one of my dear, dear friends, so I, I borrowed it from her, but she, she says this, good news, I know somebody who can help you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I mean, good it. news. We've got some yeah. resources. So let's exactly. keep scrolling through because I'm, I'm excited yeah. about some things we're going to be showing. Yes. All right. Uh, the last two things, just really quick. If you're not using engagement letters, use them. You need them. Send yep. them by December 1st. You want to know who's on board going into busy season because you need to figure out, do I need to up my marketing? Do I need new clients? Right. Do I need to fill some seats? my client list. So do that by December 1st and then consider offering a discount to your clients who are early. It doesn't have to be a big big discount, um, but offer something so that you can actually get that information in and you know exactly what's uh, going on in your firm. Um, And just a quick message is the engagement letters. There's actually six sample engagement letters in the ProAdvisor portal inside QuickBooks Online Accountant at the Marketing Hub that you can download for free. So And they're awesome. They are awesome. Yeah. In fact, those are the ones I started. Well, I started with one that was, mm. and then I think that that was the third adoption was, I was like, why don't I just use this one? And and I actually really, really like it. And it's changed and morphed, but it was a really good place to start. It was a good place to start. Talking about uh, resources that we have available to us, just like those template engagement letters that you were mentioning, we have resources in our apps. And so, you know, the first one that we look at inward is that we are all using QuickBooks and, you know, majority of us or we're using Xero or or, um, another accounting uh, solution. But there are lots of different tools that are available to us inside of QuickBooks. And so there's a couple of ones here. The client overview, that one's really nice. The month. Oh, yeah. The month in review is the one that I actually really like this one. So if we think about what are you doing here at month end year end? You know, the biggest thing is, is we're thinking at this point, 1099s and, you know, January is hard for any of us. So I go through here and I look at all of those transactions without payees. And so if I can go through and I can easily identify, here's a check. I mean, that's kind of a red flag to me that that check is probably going to need to be looked at to examine to see if is there a 1099 vendor that needs to be attached. So those are kind of some of the things that I'm going through whenever I'm looking at year end review. Yeah. And then also, you know, our clients love to think, throw things in categories that flag us and that uncategorized expense um, category. That's a big one that we know our clients dump things in and we just go in and clean them up easy I mean, enough started- with our reclass tool. I've, I've started using this month end review in my accounting practice and I love it um, because it gives me structure, right? We have a structure in our firm mm-hmm. of reviewing, but it gives me a place where I can just, when I'm in QuickBooks, I go there first and I can go through and make sure that my team has completed. These are, these are the things that I want them to look at, right? So um, I love this. You can go through the transaction review. You can add, see these little items down here where it says additional items. You can add additional items. So if there's something that's specific to the client um, that you need them to check on, you can add yeah. them. Well, and nice. I like the workflow of this. So, I mean, yeah, it, I do too. we're not showing the three different tabs here, but, um, but here, let me do this. See this right here. I'm going to draw on here that transactions. This is number one, yep. where you start. Yep. The second thing that you're going to start is the count reconciliation. Well, that makes sense. You're going to click there to- next, and then you're going to go over here to step three, which is the financial review. So it's in an order that makes sense. And then it's actually tied to our QBOA on our client dashboard. We yes. can actually see this to do 
if it's green and done, check mark, green and done, check mark, you know, we can actually see that. So it's pretty cool to be able to go through and, and see those things. Definitely. So that's yeah. a built in tool. The client over here, I guess I put these, I flip flop these slides. Sorry, Liz. That's okay. But the thing that's nice here is you can see apps that are connected. That's really great. You can see yep. the different bank accounts. You can see high level when it was connected. And my favorite thing right here is you can see which subscription they're in. Well, you know, that, that helps you to know, uh, you know, which features do they have now, right? Because there's a big difference in some of the features. And so I, I do look at this. You want to go to the next yeah. one? Let's see what it is. Of course. Absolutely. Oh, prep for tax. Okay, so if you've gone through and you've looked at your your overview, you've looked at your month end review and gone through all of those things and you're at year end, well, guess what? If you're a tax professional, you can do exactly like Heather does and go through that prep for tax and you know that you're in a better position because you've already gone through the review process and cleaned up. Yeah, we're on this review and adjustment tab, which allows you to view, you know, and, and this is in a summary format, but I can just click on these little, uh, these little carrots to open them up and I can attach documents and I can add notes and things. But what you don't see in the screen is there's actually a new documents tab and there's a new grouping and statements tab here. Um, and the documents tab is actually a place where you can add documents and you can see them in a file structure. It's pretty awesome. So it makes it really easy to find things. And then the grouping and statements is where you can go and group different accounts to higher level accounts. So you can, you know, um, if you're creating financial statements and you want to uh, call cash, you know, the cash accounts, cash and equivalents, you can say cash and equivalents and then go add all the bank, uh, bank accounts that you want included in that summary. So that's pretty cool. Um, let me go ahead and uh, go to the next screen. So if you haven't checked that out, that's you should definitely do that. The tax mapping as well um, is if you use ProConnect Tax Online or any tax software, if you're a tax preparer, you can map the general ledger accounts in QuickBooks to the tax lines on the tax return, which is really nice. And even if you don't use ProConnect Tax, it gives you this awesome report that shows you all the accounts that are mapped to each tax line, which is something that prior to this, we had to do manually. We had to print out a PL and then we had to sit there and you guys know what I'm talking about the little 111 sum one that goes to line one on the tax return, that kind of thing. We don't have to do any of that anymore because the tax mapping does it for us and does a beautiful report. Um, Ooh, well, I love this one. Okay, so I was a big fan of QuickBooks Labs whenever it came out. And, you know, it was this place that we could go try things out. Well, you can see you've got tags there. So, yay! And so you can turn on tags if you want to use those. And then you also have this cash flow widget. So if you turn it on, your cash flow widget is going to show up. So that way you've got the green money bar and then you've got the blue um, expenses bar. So you can see money coming in, money going out. And if your green bar is bigger than your blue bar, yay. And <laughs> sometimes that's all that you need to be able to help your client because they're never going to look at those reports. We're and digging again, deeper, but you know sometimes that's yeah. just all they want to see. And Liz, where can they find this again? So the QuickBooks lab. So go up to the gear icon inside of QuickBooks and click on the QuickBooks labs. And then you just slide the slider on and right then here. refresh your homepage because you're going to need to refresh your dashboard. And then the cash flow shows up on the dashboard. It also shows up on the performance tab, which yep. is right next to the client overview. Nice. All right. Uh, the last one that we we're going to talk about with QuickBooks and then I'm going to dig into some really uh, some cool other tools as well. Uh, is the client request. So sorry, Liz, I was going to have you talk, but I'll talk about it. So the what? client request allows you, if you're not using a secure file storage app in your practice, like ShareFile or SmartVault, you can actually use, you know, request files from your clients right from within QuickBooks Online Accountant. So where you would do this is you would go into QBOA and select the work tab on the left-hand side on your left nav bar. And there'll be a little button at the top right that says request, uh, create client request. And so here, what you've seen, and this is something we're all gonna be doing over the next you know, two months is I need a W9 for the new vendor and I can send it to the client. And as long as I check this little box, they'll get an email saying that I'm asking them to upload a W-9 and notice that I was able to attach a blank W-9 here for them, right? And then I can publish it to their QuickBooks, Online, uh, their QuickBooks Online. When they get the email, they can click on the link in the email, put in their login credentials. It'll open up the Your Accountant tab inside their QBO, 
and they'll see the blank W9. They can download it, have their client complete it, and then upload it right within QuickBooks Online. So easy, so secure. Um, so if you don't, if you're not using something like ShareFile or something, this is a really great solution for you. And maybe you didn't even know it was there. Nice. So, all right. That was our QuickBooks tools that we felt like would really help you for year end. The one that I didn't mention that probably everyone knows about is the 1099 wizard, right? You know that you can, all editions of QuickBooks online have 1099s, right, Liz? Am I wrong? I know. Yeah. So uh, you can you can create your 1099s in QuickBooks online um, at no additional fee. If you want to e-file, you have to pay for that. Mm -hmm. All right. What I'm going to go show you now is something probably completely new to you. And it's actually what I'm going to call a treasure trove of information and resources that you have at your fingertips for free. And you know, okay, whew, I was, I was holding my breath. So I got a second. So oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not stopping you. You were on a roll, but I was going to say, you know, this goes back to, we were just going through some of the year-end tools that are available to us inside of QuickBooks, but whenever we think about our apps as being partners and the resources that are available to them, that's what this whole section that we're getting ready to cover is about. Yes. So that totally. whole thing where we were saying, you know, what if you don't know? And I was like, good news. We know somebody who does. That's kind of, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. That's where we're at. So we're, we're, Good news, we're going to get to learn a little bit today about these things, and then we have resources to be able to reach out to. So I love this. Take it away, Heather. All right. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> um, uh, ADP has created a entire suite, and I'm going to say treasure trove, that's what I used before, of these resources that we have available to us as accounting professionals. So I'm going to go through and just show you some of them. Um, I'm going to start out with the year-end guide. I'll show you where to go to get that. And then I'm going to kind of go through the different features that are in Accountant Connect. And I know we've had a, we've seen Accountant Connect before, but I know a lot of you haven't been, you know, have maybe missed those episodes. And this new year-end guide that I'm going to go through, you've never seen before. So super excited to show that to you. So let me sign in again and let's get you uh i'm just gonna put my username and log uh, password in you guys are gonna love this okay so i'm logging in to account connect come on you can do it it's always harder in real time when everybody's watching right i know right <laughs> All right, let me retry. Let me retry again. All right, let's see. Come on, you can do it. Hmm. It's okay, Heather. As you're doing that, you know, I just want to kind of maybe help you out here if you don't mind. But you of know, course. over the past year. There's been so much work done to account and connect in these resources that came mm -hmm. even through the midst of COVID. And I'm sure you guys reviewed that on other calls. Um, but what I'm really excited about, you know, that I know you're going to be able to show here and, and as we're coming into year and sometimes what people don't think about is the year end for all of you, right? So what do you need to do as a tax professional? And whether that is, you know, what you guys just mentioned with in regards to your clients, you know, there's also CPE and what tools and resources do we need to, um, as tax professionals, use to make either ourselves better or to check the boxes in order to stay, you know, up to date. So, um, you know, I, I know that, oh, now we've timed out, but, you know, if people need to get on later yeah. or whatever that looks like, we are just really excited about the resources, the treasure trove, and maybe we'll just build up some suspense with not letting you show it. So then people will want to dive what in. I you, what I, <laughs> and what I in. can show is I can show them really what I wanted to show them. And I, for some reason I can't get in right now. Um, but that's okay. Is that I have this link open from when I was looking at it before. So I can still show you guys where it is. I just can't show you how to get there from within account and connect, which I'll try in a minute. Maybe Liz, maybe you could try to get like, logged in on your computer and then, um, I can switch over the screen share. Um, all right. So what we're looking at here is inside Account and Connect when you first log in, and we will get logged in. It's just going to take a minute. Down at the bottom right of the screen, there's actually a link that says year-end guide. And if you click on that year-end guide, it's going to bring you out to this website, which I'm actually going to throw into 
the uh, chat window inside the chat, inside Zoom, so you guys can follow along with me. So what you can do here is there's some upcoming CPE uh, webinars that you can um, review. Uh, and they have free CPE, which is fantastic. We also have these year-end resources. And the one that I think that is totally amazing and is chock full of resources that you can use as an accounting professional is this one right here in the middle. So there's a year-end payroll guide and 2021 calendar. And what it does is it gives you a structured checklist and timeline of when you should be completing certain things with your clients that have payroll. So you can go through and it tells you what you should be doing in October and November. Um, there's things like, you know, verifying your W-2 delivery address, reviewing six party, uh, uh, third party sick pay, learning about the ACA. And then if you click on these little plus signs, it gives you what ADP is going to do for you and what your responsibilities are going to be. Okay. So there's a lot of great uh, options in here. And then this one here is calculate and report group term life insurance if applicable. So you can click on that and it gives you uh, some information about that. Now, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we also have some employer resources. So we have this year end checklist, which is a download. It's a downloadable. Is that the right word? <laughs> downloadable PDF that you could actually share with your clients, right? So you could just create this PDF host it up on your website. And if you do something like a newsletter, include it and say, here's a year end tech checklist that you can use to help you plan for your year end. So it gives you something tangible. And as accounting professionals, we love checklists. I, in fact, I would, I would say that we, we probably live by it. So, um, so go ahead and, you know, you can, you can use those. We also have, you know, fringe benefit details, W2 package information. We have the 2020 payroll calendar. Again, this is a really great resource that you could print out for yourself, or you can send it to your clients. We have the 2021 payroll calendar. Um, lots of great stuff here. And do you um, want to show it, Heather? Because I've got it pulled up if you want to show it. Oh, fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Thank okay, you so, so much. So I'm going to stop my sharing fab. and then you want to share and I'll walk through it. I'll tell you where to click. Well, why don't I just give you mouse Perfect. control? Like that would be fantastic. We're techie enough to do that. <laughs> there you go. We, we certainly are. Thank you, Liz. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And so now we're inside the, uh, the ADP Account Connect dashboard. And right over here, do you guys see down this area right here is that is, can you guys see it? That's the year end guide right there. So by clicking that link, that brings you right out to that website that I showed you where you can get all of that great information, okay? Um, there's also information about the Paycheck Protection Program, the ADP, free CPE resources, the things that I was showing you before. Now, a couple of tools and things that um, you may not know about is we also have these calculators that can help us at year end and actually any time throughout the year. So we have, you know, payroll calculators, we have a salary paycheck calculator. So if a client calls up and asks you, well, I wanna give, you know, I wanna give somebody a raise, but I need to make sure that they're gonna net this amount of money, right? You can actually go in and use the salary or hourly paycheck calculator to figure out what, um, you know, what that net pay would, would look like. Um, we have the IRS withholding calculator, um, W-4 assistant. And then right down here, we have the 401k calculators. So the 401k planner, the 401k contribution calculator, um, and information on borrowing uh, from your 401k. So these are, these are incredible calculators where you can actually enter in data and it will do the calculations for you. And you can provide answers to your clients, right? And this Accountant Connect is 100% free. You don't have to pay for it. Um, we also have the analysis tools. So if you're working with clients that use ADP products and you're offering them in your practice, um, there's this awesome analysis tools dashboard where you can actually see what ADP services your clients are signed up for. And you can also see which ADP services they're not signed up for, right? So if we look here, we've got our clients lifted, listed here on the left-hand side. It shows us what payroll product they have. 
It shows us whether or not they're subscribed to human resource uh, offerings from ADP, if they're using time tracking, if they have a workers' compensation policy, or if they have a retirement plan. So it gives you like a, a bird's eye view of all of your clients that are using ADP products. And you can look for opportunities with your clients where some of these unmet needs that we were talking about earlier exist, right? So that you can go and, you know, and talk to an ADP rep, find out, um, you know, how to get them into your practice as a partner and start offering these services to your clients. Um, we also have these cool tools. I'm not gonna go into them today. You can definitely learn more about them. We, back in May, we had Matthew Fulton on and he actually did a deep dive into a bunch of these tools um, where you can watch those. So go to theappyhour.com and look at our previous episodes and you can learn more about um, the compensation, compensation benchmarking tool, industry reports and the business valuation. Well, these are all know, great resources. That's where I kind of wanna to jump in and, and add when we think about having a end-to-end -end solution, this is where we really want to be able to say, here is an app that does so many different things. So that way we don't have to go and have a different app for this and a different app for that. I mean, you know, I remember just a few years ago, there was these compensation benchmarking apps that was just by itself, or, you know, you were showing the payroll calculator, which made me laugh because we're at the end of the year. And instead of <laughs> my clients saying, how much should I pay my people? They say, oh, I paid myself or paid right. my employees so many dollars. Can you back into that number how much payroll taxes I should take out? Every so year there's a, there's a client, <laughs> not every year, but a lot of times we have clients that give out Christmas bonuses and they don't oh, yeah. realize that that, have to, that has to be run through payroll. And so they give them a flat check and you're like, nope, got to go through payroll. Well, you right. can go through and gross it up and, and, and get that into, uh, into the ADP payroll. So definitely- um, some of the other areas that I just wanted to show you is um, we have the resources tab here where you can find the marketing tools. Um, I know during our May episode, Matthew talked about the client uh, letter toolkit, which actually has hundreds of pre-prepared letters that you can download, brand with your own firm branding and use for your clients on a myriad of different topics, such as retirement planning, um, mileage, uh, just to name a few, we were talking about our favorites during that episode, but there's a ton of them. And again, those are free to you when you sign up for Account and Connect. So there's COVID resources. And then you also have the key facts and the reference guides, which are awesome. So depreciation key facts. And again, these are downloadable. So your client says, hey, I need to know about the federal tax key facts and fixtures. You can download it and email it to them. Um, and then we have reference guides and task, tax forms. We also have, you also get access to the CCH resource library. So those awesome CCH tax guides that we get every year, well, you get a digital version of it right here in Account and Connect. So you just have to sign up for it. And along with that, you can get some CPE learning from CCH as well. So you can get free CPE on, you know, tax topics, um, you know, that are, and you don't have to pay for them. I can't remember exactly how many credits you get, but I think it's like 10 or something you get. There's a whole uh, slew, Heather, of so yeah. many topics. I mean, there's a ton. So um, you can kind of pick and choose. It's like an entire menu. And then whatever we don't have that you can do virtually just through CCH here, um, our associates or even some of um, the associates in the additional products can deliver virtually like a lunch and learn. So um, there's anywhere, usually they're around one to two credits a piece, and then you can just kind of build up whatever you'd like. It's fantastic. No, definitely. Um, then, yeah, so we have the CPE learning here and then the ADP marketplace. So but you know um, I'm a big fan of the marketplace, so I could go totally. on, on about that. But we've already decided that I'm fiscally responsible. And so <laughs> I like my ADP marketplace a lot. I have ordered now several things from there, everything from flowers to electronics. Oh, and even food delivery services. So that's right. You're talking about that awesome Life Mart that they I have. I like the right? Life Mart. Now, I know there's yeah. other things in there. So there's tons. There's like, did but, you know? Did you? I this was, was really cool. You probably not. If you use Slack and use ADP, there's actually a Slack integration, so employees can actually <laughs> ask, like, how yeah. much six time do I have left? And uh, the little ADP bot will tell them that. It's really really cool. It's very cool. Well, I'm gonna quit sharing my screen because I know that we want to allow our we guests do. to share. So I'm going to stop sharing 
and I want okay. to raise a, a drink toast. Are we there, Heather? Because I feel I like think I'm there. We are totally there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and launch the slideshow. Where is it? Uh, well, uh, I can tell you this. Drink I've got it. Makes I've got me it. So happy. It's gorgeous. And drum roll. Drum roll. It is gorgeous. The ADP celebration. Now, when we picked this, we didn't know what kind of celebration it really was going to be today, but today is truly <laughs> a celebration. It is truly a celebration. And that ginger it, beer in there, I don't know if, if you've had cocktails with ginger beer, but oh, they're my favorite. So good. And that cranberry, it's like poppy. Oh, mm. anyway, delicious drink. Okay, so, I want to pass it over to my friends. Oh, so yes, cheers. Yes, so we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And, uh, and pass it and to And yes, friend. let's pass it over. Um, I'm going to pass it over. Did you, Amber, did you want to share your screen or do you want to just tell me when to click? If you don't mind, we'll just let you click through to save the technology glitches of passing back and forth, which would probably happen on my end. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. So thank you guys so much for having us on today. We're very excited and I can't think of a better tee up than year end, right? As you guys were saying to do the review, I mean, we, I've delivered CPE and I've had so many conversations with different tax professionals over the year and retirement is just one of those that sometimes is overlooked. Um, I think from where, you know, from, from the tax professional side and even from the side of, of the client. Um, you know, especially as a small business thinking that sometimes benefits are too expensive or, you know, not something that they think about necessarily offering, but the reasons to do it are, are so big. So we'll go ahead and go to the next slide. Um, I actually, I know this is an intro slide. I actually am the offspring of a CPA. So I know what you all uh, go through and the seasonality and, and all of that, but we're really excited today to spend it with you and, and just the entire Appy Hour community. So um, we wanted to go through, first off, you know, Clearly, ADP and our branding were known for payroll, HR, and, and what that encompasses. But what we're excited to talk to you all about today are really the benefit side. And, you know, especially from the retirement standpoint, you know, our largest competitors are the Empowers and the Principals and the Transamericas. And it's funny because we have a hard time in that industry um, identifying ourselves from a retirement provider because we're still seeing so much on, you know, the payroll and, and really the HR side that it's a constant story that we tell to financial advisors and all of our partners um, within the, the wealth management industry. So I'm sure that Aaron, uh, who you guys will get to hear from here in a little bit, very similar, right? When it comes to health benefits, how we can help with workers comp, sometimes we just don't take that second level. So hopefully today we'll be able to trigger some additional conversation um, some additional resources. And Heather, as you, you and, and Liz said, you know, great. I know somebody who can do that for you. Um, we hope to be that, that, that somebody um, for, for this community, regardless if it's a question, it doesn't have to mean that you have a client. Um, if you're just starting to get down the path of retirement and understanding more on how you can can help your prospects or maybe, you know, with all the legislative changes that happened this year, um, you just want more information, let us be that resource for you all. So um, this entire slew, I mean, it goes on for days. I always say if, if it has something to do with an employee, we probably do it or we have a solution for it as well. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind as you're, you're meeting with your clients and, and continuing to support your, your, um, entire base. Um, so as we jump into the retirement side, Heather, I'll have you move forward. Um, really, when we get into the overall, and you can skip forward another slide too, you know, we call, we say it's the three R's. So we try and keep it really simple when it comes to why retirement matters to a business owner. And, you know, more importantly, why would your clients come to you for retirement. And Liz, as you said earlier, like it seems like every year more and more people come to us for more and more things. Um, I can only imagine <laughs> how that you are like the mom of a small business, right? They're coming to you for dinner, lunch, <laughs> um, or, or you're, you're the parent of, of the small business where they're constantly coming to you for help. 
So as we go through the three R's, um, you know, I feel like a small business really looks to you all to help them grow their business, tax savings, um, and then just continue to help them grow through that practice. But when it comes to what we're going to talk about today, there's really three things. So I'll let you check along. So as we go through um, retirement income, you know, this year we got hit with COVID and a lot of business owners, uh, participants, people who had 401ks, um, you know, some of them had to tap into that retirement, whether they liked it or not. Right. But I can tell you, um, you know, even as much as some people maybe didn't want to, it was nicer to have it than to not have it. Um, you know, so, so we don't want people tapping into their retirement until it's time, but you know, at least they they had an option um, and we want to be able to help them there. So just getting people to even save for retirement, I'm sure you all have heard this, but we're very um, undersaved, I guess you could say. And then recruiting and retaining talent. And then finally, where you all really shine, right? Reducing that tax, the, the taxes. So whether that is because I'm participating as a participant, as an employee or as a business owner, this year we had Secure Act, which kicked off the year when we thought everything was going to be just a normal year, um, which <laughs> before we knew, um, but there was increased, <laughs> right? We had no idea. That was a nice time, wasn't it? That was a fun time then. Um, <laughs> but we had Secure Act and it gave small businesses the ability to increase their, their tax savings, those tax credits, um, whether they used auto enroll or if they just started a 401k plan. And so, you know, that's something that if I was a small business, you know, we would want to be able to make sure you all are really aware of, of any tax credits, additional tax credits, or how much more they could save this year just through those tax credits by adding a retirement plan. Um, so we want to be able to provide you guys with the ability to help them accu cum accumulate wealth, excuse me, and pay less in taxes, regardless of how that is, which are several ways. I'd love to kind of focus on two for just a second. Um, sure. You know, the recruit and retain piece of it too is so important. You know, I was recently talking to a client um, about hiring people and talking about compensation packages. And, you know, one thing that you hear a lot is, well, I can't afford to offer benefits to my staff. And my answer was, you can't really, you can't afford not to, not to. right? Yeah. If you want good quality, you know, a good quality team that is, you know, really invested in your firm, you need to make it worth their while and take care of them. So yeah. definitely. Well, and just with the turnover, I mean, there is, you know, good and bad to the unemployment rate going from where it was to then where it was to now where it is, right? It's It's been on its own journey. And I think at the end of the day, you know, we know that regardless of whether things are really good or really bad, being able to have people that you can rely on in that team um, is going, could potentially make or break your business. And so it's just very, very important that when we, when we get them in there, that we really bring them in to, to be able to help. And, and now, you know, whether businesses are growing or they're just wanting to kind of maintain, you know, it, it's going to be continually, you know, this, this important thing. And it's harder for a small business to be able to keep up, but there's things that they can do um, to help them compete. So as we go, we're going to go on a journey. There are a lot of words on here and I am not going to go through everything, but what I wanted was for you guys to be able to walk away with one, if there was one page where you really wanted to do a deep dive into all the retirement products, you know, everybody on the call or that, that jumps on here, you can get some just really valuable information to kind of compare the different products. So just high level, we focus on our steps. And I think, you know, as you mentioned at the beginning, what could we do during year in? You know, SEPs are kind of one of those sometimes forgotten retirement plans um, because it's all employer contributions. So we, we think of simple IRAs and we think of 401ks because it's something that you can have your employees participate in. They engage usually, right, because they're able to reduce their taxable income. Um, and SEP is really one that we see a lot in our S corps, a lot in the mom and pop shops. If they, let's say that, and there will be companies and small businesses that had an incredible year, right? Have you ever had a small business come in and all of a sudden you're looking, you're doing their year in your review and you're going, whoa, like 
you went, you made way more money and maybe not because you're also proactive, but I've heard it. <laughs> well, we <laughs> get like, new clients all the time. So there you go, Liz. I just had a consultation today that I said, did you realize you doubled your income? Like you, your net income, you've doubled it this year. So good news. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So this could be really great. And even, even as you're going into tax season, right? The SEP is a really good opportunity depending on how many employees, depending on the 10 year. So I'll say that there's an asterisk, but as long as you guys, whoever you guys can get your clients in a SEP and they can put away $57,000 maximum contribution. That's a lot of money. Um, now it's hard because if it's a larger company, right? You have to give the same percentage across the board. So if you're going to give yourself, let's say, right? 10%, you're giving everybody who's eligible 10%. But at the end of the day, I think it's, you know, lean in. That's why those calculators are there. It may be worth it, you know, to put that into yours versus what you're going to be paying out in taxes, depending on how big uh, your business is. And this can be done up until you file taxes um, and tax returns for the previous year. So even after January 1st, you guys are in April and maybe you even file extensions, you have the ability to go back and still file and set up a set for the previous calendar year. Um, prior to you guys put submitting those to the IRS. So kind of a nice little feature. Now this year with Secure Act, we had something similar to that come out with the 401k. I'll be honest with everybody, Department of Labor put it in there. They did not define it. It's still very confusing to the industry. So even at ADP, we're recommending that it to have uh, people consider the SEP, but just a really nice, um, you know, kind of, I would say, uh, way for us to go back and maybe fix what could potentially be broken, but doesn't have to be in a previous year when it comes to that money. Um, simples we say are simple. They're great. If people want to just, I say, put, put your toe in the retirement pond, if you will, right? It's not as flexible. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't allow for business owners to put a, to really maximize, right? You're looking at 2020 at 13, five and just 3000 for catch up. Eligibility is very um, limited. Vesting is always 100%. And then you have your 401k where there is so much you can do here. Um, there are so many different ways you can design a plan. And it definitely depends on the business. I don't even want to get into it on this call. I just would tell you, if you have a business that's a little bit bigger, they want to put some money in, you could still start a plan for 2020. It just can't be a safe harbor, which means we have some testing and some weird things going on. So again, I don't want us to have that make this be, you know, 401k or retirement 101, but there might be some plan design that we can do to help the clients um, pass their testing and put away some money for the current calendar year, but time's running out because we're at November 10th and this one has to be set up prior to the year being done. You know, I would even throw this in there. One of the things that we are really good at as, as professionals is testing things ourselves. So if you want to, like you said, dip your toe in, one of the best places to do it is to, you know, use yourself as that test. And then, you know, even if you just start learning little bits and pieces as you go along, that's whenever you can like open that door and say, look what I have found and share some of those things and then make that connection where, you can help them, Amber. I mean, that's exactly the thing that you do is help them with figuring out the right plans. So yeah, just getting started. Yeah. I mean, I, I wanted to keep this really high level. I just want you all to know, you know, there are options. We need to probably act sooner than later, but even if we wait till next year, there's still options. And we have an entire team that can help you reach out to an ADP rep. Let me know if there's information that you all want. If you have questions or just want to see what we can do for specific clients, I'm happy to, to help provide you guys. We have so much information just, you know, from what you you've seen earlier. And so just let us know if there's anything that comes up between now and, and really whenever. And we'll help you with some of those plan design questions. So as we move ahead, here's a super summarized slide of the first one, because I always love the cliff note version, right? Like let's 
here, I should probably have done this first just to open the door um, and then, you know, really blew through it with the previous slide. But you'll see here catch up rates. We actually have a piece that's coming out in 2021 um, rates and catch up rates. So you guys can take a look. One thing that I whenever I deliver CPE, um, one thing that people don't realize is how much money they can put in a 401k plan. They think that the only way to really maximize and get into that 57,000 range is through the SEP. And it's just not the case. So there are some really different, there's a lot of different features. It's, uh, new comparability is one where depending on the, the size of the business and depending on how they're set up and what it looks like, where they can really put away quite a bit of money into that retirement plan. And so again, just know that it's out there. Um, and here's your cliff note version. So as we continue to move forward, I just wanted to get, I know that this is appy hour and so apps are big. So I thought I'd just throw in some, some uh, tech pieces and then we'll hand it over to Aaron here. Um, but all of our technology, all of our retirement is tied into the ADP mobile app, which I'm sure you all have talked about in the past. And if not, again, let us know how we can help. Um, but we have an entire journey. So through COVID and this, this crazy year, you know, we realized how much retirement mattered, whether it was for today or tomorrow. I um, mean, having that, that piece, that, that savings account, if you will, I mean, we hate to call it that, but it really did save some people. Um, surprisingly, less people took advantage of the ability to tap into their 401k than you might expect. Very few did actually, but when they needed it, they really needed it. And I, to me, it just makes me sleep better knowing that if we really had to have it, it's there. So on the app, it'll take them through an employee, an entire journey. And we talked about retaining and engaging those employees. Our app and our technology is really going to help um, help people enroll and it drives participation. So we want to make sure that not only are we getting people into retirement plans, but it's really working for them, um, not just from an owner perspective, but from an employee perspective, because these employees... Um, you know, they don't, they didn't always participate, but if we can make it easy for them, and that's really what this is showing through this journey, they're going to go online, they go through the app and from just their phone, everything will be updated and it updates payroll. It updates their visibility about retirement on their app. Um, it just goes all the way through to make it really easy for people to participate. So from here, last thing is, and it goes through the mobile push notifications, right? So we're such a technology focused, everybody's on their phone. Um, my weekly reporting went up dramatically after COVID hit, right? The iWatch, the Apple, the whatever it is. And so we are plugged in. So we want to make sure that you all know, that your clients know, that their employees know, you know, we want it to be easy. We want it to be top of mind. We want them to be able to take loans easily and hardship withdrawals. We want them to be able to increase contributions and friendly little reminders that say, happy birthday. You're a year older. You're a year closer to retirement. Maybe put an extra percentage towards that 401k. So again, just some additional technology. I thought these slides were cool. You guys go ahead and take it from here. Um, and again, if you have any questions, just let me know. This was Thank you so fabulous. much, Amber. That was yeah. fantastic. And it was exactly what you said. Nice high level information because there's so much there. And I love the idea of people reaching out and asking for more information. So that's exactly what this is designed to be. Yep. So, and so we'll hand it over so you guys can introduce Aaron because I know we are definitely <laughs> cutting short on time. Our time. Yes, Hi. absolutely. Aaron, you wanna you wanna jump in? <laughs> uh, absolutely. Um, I, I, I mean, we can end it just by saying ADP can help y'all. Just send anyone that needs health insurance advice our way. Um, but I, I'm assuming you logged in to get a little more, so so I will. So certainly, <laughs> um, I, I, I started. I started with ADP in 2013, and I've been in health insurance from the beginning. So I was a producer for two years. I stepped into a, a sales executive role, which is a sales manager's role, and then um, most recently into the VP of sales. I've worked in multiple different states, dealt with different businesses, with multiple controls, two employees, and, and kind of everything in between. And I'll tell you that um, all of those situations present unique uh, benefit strategies and, and that aren't blanket one size fit all. And it's so important to, 
to align with somebody that's willing to go through those strategies with you and make sure that what your business needs is what you're offering for those employees. Um, so with that, we'll head to, to the next to talk about our agency. So um, ADPIA is ADP's insurance agency. We're, we're an affiliate of ADP. We've been in the business for, for 20 years. We have 800 plus licensed associates. And I think um, it, whenever you look at the small and mid-sized businesses, a lot of times in the health insurance market as a whole, especially those small businesses, they, they don't segment the way ADP segments. I have groups that are dedicated to employees with two to nine. It's, uh, that is their entire book of business is employees with two to nine. So I think if you're somebody that has a small business, wants to make sure they get the best benefit, ADPIA is really the, the best partner to have because we draw these invisible lines um, and we segment to make sure that even small businesses feel like they're getting the absolute best advice uh, that they can from a benefits um, level. So heading into what that looks like between the different lines of property and casualty and health and benefits, I would say across both, you're going to be working with licensed agents. We're going to be giving your clients the absolute best support. I think another differentiator from ADPIA and the rest of the health insurance market is traditionally when I was a broker, even prior to ADPIA, I had to find new business as well as service existing. And that creates a little bit of a conflict for me, right? Because if I get a call for a new client appointment and a call from someone I wrote five years ago that has questions, I've got to make a decision on, on who to service first. At ADPIA, we have an entirely separate sales and service department. So the person you're talking to is dedicated to just working with clientele that are either just all onboarding or all being serviced so that you always have somebody there to assist you. We work with all the A-rated uh, national regional carriers. And the most important is we integrate with payroll. I think this is really where you're going to find the, the largest value for your clients. So what does that look like? We'll talk about it in the different um, lines, property and casualty and health insurance um, separately. And, you know, I think that this would be a really good time to say, knowing that there's benefits available, Heather, could, could we launch the poll to just say there's a lot of chatter? And so I don't want to miss an opportunity for some of these people to say, yes, reach out for help because it's nice to you know, we're, we're hashtag not alone. <laughs> so you have help. <laughs> so there's a couple of different options Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I, I, I was going to cover this in a later slide, but it's probably important to, to mention now that COVID it has, has brought about a lot, especially when it comes to, to health insurance. We were on a call the other day with a partner of ours, Doc Tegrity. And they mentioned that 600% increase um, they have seen in the suicide hotline uh, number since COVID ha has hit. So uh, whenever it comes to helping your clients and really caring about their well-being, I think partnering with them with somebody that can align them to different health and wellness things outside of just major medical that would help their employees that, they, um, that find themselves struggling through this time just really important and ADP has a solution to, uh, to help your clients with those types of things. That is an absolutely staggering statistic that caught me off guard. And it's like you said, sometimes just giving them your clients some options for their employees is what they need. All right, I'm going to leave the poll up for, I'm going to count you guys down. I've left the poll up if you, um, if you uh, would like someone from ADP to reach out to you, please answer the poll. I'm gonna count you guys down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great, thank you. All right, back to you, Aaron. Do you want me to uh, go to the next slide? Yep, so um, so, so we're gonna look at, at kind of the two sides of the house. So the first would be property and casualty. And you'll see that overwhelmingly of the book of business that we have in property and casualty, 95% of our clients at minimum um, handle their workers' compensation through us. And I'll, we'll find out in a minute um, why we're bringing so much value for, for people to connect their workers' comp. But we also provide business owners, policies, general liability, commercial auto, and New York disability, as we all know, 
in New York, there's some variation uh, as opposed to everywhere else. And we have a product for you there as well. But jumping into what makes ADP's property and casualty different? Um, and, and how is this really going to, to help my client? Well, I think you're going to see um, the, the way ADP handles workers' compensation policies not only helps your clients, but it's also going to be extremely beneficial for, for you and your firm. Um, so you can head to the next. You got it? Perfect. So the, the big benefits to your clients, whenever we talk about integrating payroll with insurance products, what does that look like? Well, with workers' compensation, this is going to eliminate upfront premium deposits. Why is that? Workers' comp compensation is a payroll insurance. So they're charging you based on how many people you are paying and ADP being your payroll company. Um, if we are your payroll company and you provide uh, workers' compensation through us, we're, we don't have to guess and make upfront deposits, deal with a, a messy audit at the end of the year. We're able to monitor that payroll and make sure that you're paying exactly what you should be for the employees um, that you're actually paying at the business. And those premium payments get sent directly to the carrier. So what does that mean for you? For you with your clients, that means you're gonna drive um, a, a, just a ton of loyalty with them. This is a unique product in the market. It, it, it's so seamless with ADP's payroll and workers' compensation. So it eliminates a lot of work on your end and frees up a lot of cash flow uh, for that client. It's going to really help them just set it and forget it. I think Heather and Liz have, have talked about it a lot. Why do two things if it can all happen in one place? And, and that payroll integration really does a good job of, of helping um, and, and providing that. So head, heading into the next slide with the medical benefits. Um, first, we offer a full suite of products and when you track, uh, whenever you talk about attracting and retaining top talent, especially with, with COVID and the pandemic, a healthy benefits package is so important. And what we find with small businesses is a lot of times they'll take care of the medical, but a lot of these additional ancillary lines get forgotten, whether it's concern about affordability or just not wanting to manage an additional 10 things now at the business. Um, I'll tell you, that's where you get the advantage of partnering with somebody like ADPIA. Whether you're offering just medical or 10 different lines, we're going to do our part to take that workload off of you so that you can focus on the business, we'll manage your benefits. Um, and again, I would mention here that not only do we have access to plans like this, but there's a lot of different options in the market for wellness programs, um, employee care, and just all of those things. So based on what's important to your clients, we're going to make sure that we get them set up in the proper products. Now, how does the payroll integration work on the health insurance side? In the next slide, we'll cover what that looks like. And it all starts around eligibility management. So if you have a client right now that's offering health insurance, an easy question to ask them on whether or not they may need some additional help is, if you hire somebody today, if your benefits waiting period is 30 days, how are you tracking that? Almost always the answer is Outlook. Sometimes it's a post-it note. Um, it, it, whenever you partner your payroll and your benefits, we know when you hire employees and we can tell you when it's time to offer those employees benefits because we'll know what your waiting period is. We'll know what those plans are that you're offering and we can make sure that you don't have to remember we're gonna do that for you. We'll send you those notifications so you never have to worry about having an employee miss open enrollment. We're gonna help them through onboarding onto those health insurance plans. We're gonna help you with the management that's ongoing throughout the year, provide renewal support at the end of the year when prices change, you have to evaluate whether you stay with the current carrier or make some adjustments. And then my favorite at the end, the employee advocacy line, this is that, that dedicated service model for you and your employees. So if they have a question, Instead of coming to you and saying, hey, Heather, um, I, I have a surgery coming up. Do you know how our plan is going to cover that? They can come directly to us, get those questions answered from a licensed professional. Um, and it helps you and, and your client mitigate their HIPAA risk as well, um, because you don't have employees talking to you about their medical concerns. So that's what it looks like for workers' comp um, and group health. 
we can head on to the next. I think I only have one or two more. And starting the conversations can, can really just be based on a couple easy questions. For workers' compensation, have you experienced a variance during your audit? What are you doing to ensure you're paying the premium timely and accurately? And um, when do you do your policy review of your workers' compensation? Typically, those are the three that will really tell you whether or not that business has a defined process. And the audit one being uh, the most common gap that, that we're able to fill. For group health, when's the last time that you've shopped? What's important to remember about health insurance is we sign up and then our price stays the same for the year. But in the background, prices change in the insurance market quarterly. So sometimes people pick UHC or Aetna because it was the cheapest at the time. And then they keep it for five years, assuming that that's always held true. But insurance companies are constantly manipulating their rates to, to fight for market share. And a lot of times not, not doing that benefit strategy um, it has them miss the boat on, on, as far as uh, premiums, or have you considered options to automate the, the administration of your group health insurance? So really, w when it comes down to it for your employees, we want to take the work of administrating things like benefits off of your plate. Let us make a connection between payroll and those benefits so that we can tell you when it's time to act on your benefits and not, not leave you holding all of that that responsibility. Well, and I really like your pay by pay by pay. So I really like being able to pay as you go. That's a really nice option, especially whenever you're talking about cash flow is a big thing for my clients right now. So and um, being able to pay each month, that's that's a huge benefit. Absolutely. And and, and you can see that the CEO of a simple a simple office solution, excuse me, um, talked about pay by pay as Liz just was. And I think the the last sentence in the first paragraph really says it. everything about using pay by pay by pay has helped me reduce administrative tasks and focus more on being consultative with my clients. And I think that's it. At the end of the day, you want to grow the bottom line for your clients. You want to help them avoid um, you know, any risk. And by partnering with uh, somebody like AEPIA, we are willing to take the insight from payroll, which a traditional health insurance broker, it just simply isn't going to have, and use that to help automate that administration uh, for your customers so that they can focus on the business. We can eliminate things like those audits and all the while make sure that their employees are getting the best benefits in that industry and um, are getting the help that they would need. I, I you know, she's one of our um, peers. And so I just, you know, nice quote to share. And I want to thank you. So both Aaron and Amanda for sharing with us those benefits that we can offer. And I appreciate you being here today to share with our community that we can partner with you and have tools already available to us that we may not even have been aware of. So I appreciate this eye-opening opportunity. It's our pleasure, Liz. I'm glad I got to be here during your big win. It was a, it was a, a pleasure for both of us. No, it's fantastic. It looks like Amber had to jump off, but uh, that was fantastic. It was a really, I think, a needed discussion. Um, we don't get a lot of opportunities to learn about um, these types of products and how we can, you know, we can introduce them to our clients and actually partner with other, um, <clears throat> find partners that can help us to offer them to our clients. So thank you so much for that. Um, so I showed the uh, the Stay Connected with Accountant Connect earlier in my demonstration. So I love that because it does point out your whole client base that's on ADP to see exactly what the uh, what what uh, products they are um, utilizing and where there's opportunities um, for you to help. So exactly. So thank you so much, Aaron. That was fantastic. And I think it is important. Like I said, I think, um, you know, offering benefits is so important to our employees. Um, it's important to growing our business and making sure that we have a good quality team and that we're taking care of our team members. So um, this is something that I, I know I have worked with firms um, in Saturday Consulting that have really done a great job of building out this part of their business um, mm -hmm. with ADP. And they just rave about the partnership they have with their reps and how they're able to just make that introduction and have you know the ADP rep who is very, very knowledgeable about it come in and help their client. And so everybody wins, it's fantastic. Agreed. So Heather, what else do we have here? So, so that's some of our, our additional- Sure, benefits. of course. 
Um, so, you know, we have the, the complete set of solutions with ADP. And then we have this big, Yay! amazing news. So, so this, this is more amazing news. news. This, yes. is, this is worth celebrating. And so Heather and I have this amazing news. Not just are we celebrating a, a wonderful um, achievement today, but also ADP is going to be our 2021 champagne sponsor. That and why we felt like this was so appropriate to have this partnership is because ADP continues to reach out into our con community. ADP continues to offer all of these additional benefits to us. They continue to listen to us and adapt to us. And so who better to have share with us this celebration of, of community than ADP and offering all of these benefits. So, so 2021 is going to be an amazing year. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely, I couldn't have said it better. I decided to jump on at the end just to say hi. And yes, we're super pumped uh, <laughs> to be the champagne sponsor for next year. You guys have been awesome. Uh, we love, I'm Nick, by the way, uh, sorry. I'm the guy <laughs> in the chat uh, that's been answering a lot of your questions. I'm the senior director of channel marketing at ADP. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to say that we, we love working with the pro advisor community. Uh, it has, uh, been a community, Heather and Heather and I were talking about this earlier. It's just, it's, uh, a group that we have really grown to love over the last several years. Uh, we've invested a, a ton of resources and time, uh, listening to you guys, uh, engaging your feedback, you know, what can we do to, to work more closely together? Uh, and we continue to make those uh, make those improvements. So it was an easy decision for us. Um, you know, Heather Liz working with you guys and how great you are um, to continue the momentum uh, and be the champagne sponsor for next year. So um, so thank you, and we're super pumped. Well, I feel like all of our audience is going to benefit from that. So we in return say thank you. And everybody is super excited. I can see it in the chat that everybody's really yep. excited. Um, we love ADP. So, yes, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yes, Jennifer. So fantastic. This has been an amazing episode. I know we went a little bit over time, but we had so much amazing things to share. And um, I, feel, I feel like this is one of our best episodes yet, Liz. <laughs> we had so much to help people kind of get on board with, you know, that year-end planning and then understanding that there's all of these resources out there for us. Um, and, you know, through our partnerships, right, that can really help us to grow our firms and, and help our clients. So good, good, good stuff. So uh, today's specials, we have the free Accountant Connect. So I did share the link in the chat. So if you have not signed up for Accountant Connect, please do that. Um, like I said, it's totally free. Um, a ton of resources. If you want to learn more about the Accountant Connect product itself, we've done several. Uh, we've done several webinars about it. The most recent one where we did a deep dive was back in May of 2020. We had Matthew Fulton on, and he went through um, all of the great features of Accountant Connect. And then the other really cool special thing I'm so excited about this is that uh, this November ADP is going to be giving away, just like they did last year, free copies of the tax book deluxe deluxe edition. This is like my favorite mm -hmm. tax book every year. I was just talking to my ADP rep, Nick. <laughs> I was talking to Sarah and I was like, I want my tax book. I want my tax book. <laughs> so um, to, to get one, you have to, you have to enter this contest. So um, you want to follow us and ADP on Facebook and Twitter, and then make sure that you tag us and you can get a tax book. So um, awesome. And we'll, I uh, we'll be sending the link out um, to go to uh, access your tax book uh, later this week. Uh, maybe it's early next week. It's, uh, it's a secret. So you got to follow, follow QB happy hour, follow Heather, follow Liz, uh, follow ADP um, and be on the lookout for that link. So stay definitely. Tuned. It's like gold. I love that. I love it. It's so well organized and so easy to use. It's definitely something that sits on my desk throughout tax season. That's nice. um, yeah, definitely. All right. Um, this is where my, oh, there we go. Now my deck is, is working. Um, if you haven't visited our website, please do so. That's where you can find, we have over 40 episodes now. So uh, 40 episodes where you can learn about different apps uh, in the accounting 
uh, space. So we invite you to do that. We also have a blog that's that's active. You can get drink recipes or just send us a, rest, uh, a message. Uh, and then don't forget to visit ADP's website. Make sure you sign up for Account and Connect. You are so missing out. I just, it, it actually, Nick, it pains me, right? When I think about people not signing up for Account and Connect because there's so much good stuff in there. So please, please make sure that you do that. Um, join our Happy Hour Lounge Facebook group. We'd love to see you there. And make sure if you're joining us on Facebook Live right now, join, uh, register for the Zoom so that you can join in the fun, fun inside Zoom. We have a chat and Q&A going on, lots of fun going on in here. And we're going to be joined, uh, oops, I just clicked on that link. Um, <laughs> there we go. We're going to be joined on December 8th by Lissio. So all of you that know Allison Ball, and uh, she's going to be joining us on December 8th to talk about Lysio. And we're going to be uh, talking about how to create a stellar client experience. So you don't want to miss that. Uh, January 12th, we're going to have Fathom reporting. And then on January 26th, we're going to have our friends at ADP come back and talk about PEO total source or total source PEO. So super excited um, to see you guys. Uh, be safe. Enjoy the holidays. Uh, number one is be safe. That's number one this year, right? Usually it's enjoy, but this year it's be safe. And then number two is, is enjoy and enjoy the time with your family. We're all in this together. Um, and it's so great to see you guys on these webinars. Thank you so, so much um, for joining us. And another big thank you to uh, ADP. We love partnering with you guys. And a huge thank you to Right Networks as well, our 2020 uh, champagne sponsor. Um, we've had a lot, we've done a lot with them and, and had a great year um, with them. So thanks everybody. Nick, thank you. Aaron, Amber, Liz, congratulations. Thanks. And uh, we'll see everybody Congrats, back. Thank you. Into, Bye everyone. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.